Um, so we've put a folder together, or we should have done, or I have, um, and I've named it Sunglasses Hut because that's the project I'm working on. And I've gone overboard. I've actually got about 350 tracks. I've just thrown a load of stuff from my own collection and I've sourced a bit of new stuff as well. So I've uh, I've got plenty of plenty of music in there for one hour, um, and I've also found a track. Uh, it's not brand new, but it's fairly recent, and I really fancy it as a, a an initial intro to my mix. Um, and it's at a great tempo, 102, so I can start from there and build up. And 8A is quite a popular key. Um, so yeah, so I've chucked that into Ableton. I'm going to warp it, uh, have a listen back, and there'll be some points throughout the case study where I do a bit of a fast forward, uh, and then I'll stop and have a chat about what I've done. So bear with me, and let's get going. So we've got our first tune dragged in. Let's have a quick look at the warping. Uh, pretty obvious just from looking at it where the first beat kicks in. And there we go. Just from the quiet intro, we can tell that we've got a problem with our BPM. So the golden rule is check your BPM when you import your first track. This is 102. So let's get this down to 102. There we go. And our other settings are absolutely fine. Uh, again, let's have a quick listen. So when we um, get our first beat in place and warped, that timing issue should sort itself out. Bit of space behind the first kick drum. Control, set here. Control, click, warp from here. Okay, let's put one funny marker there. I'm just going to take that out. And let's give it a check. That looks absolutely perfect to me but let, let's go through and check out this bar here there we go and that looks fine really Okay, I think that section there is pretty good. You'll notice that I actually went back and checked the timing. Um, and because this is such a long section here between uh, these two warp markers, um, it did need a little bit of adjustment. I mean, this section might do as well. Uh, that's okay, actually. I mean, it's quite hard to tell because you've got a massive kind of downward wave here. Um, if we go to these snares you might find it a bit easier. Okay we can see that's fallen off a little bit. We have to be quite careful if we're warp marking with snares because sometimes if the snare has a, a swing to it and you warp marker it uh, onto the beat you're going to lose that and you're not going to get the natural timing of the record and in fact it will put your kick drums out of place so we just have to bear that in mind I'm going to leave it because it, in actual fact as long as the end of the record is in time in terms of it matching up to our grids 
then that's okay because that's the point we're going to be mixing out of. So it doesn't actually matter too much um, whether this is in time or not. Right, um, first issue. I love this record, but I don't like the way it introduces. It's just very abrupt and comes in. So as it's our first tune, I'd quite like to just introduce the track with a bit of the main vocal hook with nothing going on, which is from about here. Yeah, I really like that. So let's just give ourselves some space at the beginning. Let's move ourselves four bars. I'd quite like that as a four bar intro. Let's just see how it introduces itself anyway. It's got a kind of a, remember that fading in kind of intro. Let's be a bit more bold with it. Let's take this. Alt, click, drag, let go of click, let go of alt. Okay, there's a tiny bit of um, an, uh, a sort of a strange change, but remember our quick fade technique. This is great if you just want to touch up something like that and fade them between. Yeah. Just boost our volume. Yeah, that's okay. It just gives us a, a bit more of a sort of distinct intro rather than it just sort of fading in. And um, so I quite like that. Um, now, arrangement wise, it looks like a very standard arrangement. We've got, there we go, on one of the main grid markers here, bar 41, we've got a breakdown. And then again, on bar 73, We've got a breakdown, and this looks like, you know, sort of standard timing here. So we're going to head back into Mixed In Key and see if we can have a look at anything that's going to maybe progress our tempo a little bit and something that's in a relative key. Because if we look at the outro of the record, I'm guessing it's going to be quite tonal. So unless we're just going to lay a beat over that, um, we're going to need 